The world-famous Victoria's Secret fashion show will officially no longer air on network TV. But could the move be a direct result of the brand's dwindling popularity? Here's the real reason Victoria's Secret is canceling their televised show. It's the only thing like it in the world. When Les Wexner, the CEO of Victoria's Secret parent company, L Brand, announced that the company would be taking its trademark fashion show off broadcast TV, he offered little explanation as to why. But while Wexner may have been light on the specifics, his message seemed to hint that things had been in the works for a while. He wrote in a statement, For the past few months, we've said that we are taking a fresh look at every aspect of our business, from merchandising, marketing, and brand positioning, to our real estate portfolio, digital business, and cost structure. Literally every Everything. Next time, we're gonna have it down pat. If Wexner's memo is any indication, the brand will likely roll out even more changes ahead. Numbers from the brand's 2018 show proved that the yearly event, which was once highly anticipated, had simply lost its glittery appeal in the eyes of viewers. It was insane, and being out there is, ah, I wanna cry. According to Entertainment Weekly, the show saw its lowest ratings ever in 2018, thanks to two notable changes that had been implemented since 2017. The show had jumped networks from CBS to ABC and had adopted a new time slot going from Tuesday night to Sunday night. The result? Viewership dropped from 5 million down to just 3.3 million. Victoria's Secret used to be the most popular lingerie brand in America. It really just looks like every girl's dream. But it looks like this store's lacy push-up ship has sailed. In February 2019, L Brands announced that it would be closing 53 of its 1,143 locations in North America, including both Victoria's Secret and standalone pink stores. According to CNN in early 2019, the company revealed that sales at stores open for at least a year fell a staggering 7% during their last quarter. Company Companies like Amazon and Aerie proved themselves to be direct competitors with the brand, with Global Data Retail reporting that Victoria's Secret had lost 3.8 million customers in two years. All you have to do is be yourself. Choose you and change the world. Perhaps the show's decline in viewership could also be traced in part to the departure of some of its most popular angels, Miranda Kerr, Alessandra Ambrosio, and Andriana Lima. In 2013, it was reported that Kerr had been removed as a Victoria's Secret angel reportedly due to her, quote, difficult reputation. However, Kerr told the Sydney Morning Herald that she had been the one to decide to leave, claiming, I'm now entering a new phase in my life. I have felt this coming since my son was born, and after I became a mother, I realized I needed to prioritize my time." Ambrosio, who walked the Victoria's Secret runway for 17 years, announced she was hanging up her wings in November 2017. The model thanked her fellow angels on Instagram, writing, "...it gives me great pride to be part of the Victoria's Secret movement. I will always be cheering for you." One year later, Lima also announced her departure from the brand after 19 years, walking in what would be the end of the Victoria's Secret fashion show as we know it. I think there is always a day that you have to say goodbye. Fashion is beginning to seriously reflect the diverse body types of real-life women, but Victoria's Secret has been slow to get with the program. In 2017, supermodel Ashley Graham's lingerie collection, Additionnel, made its New York Fashion Week debut to rave reviews. Graham used only plus-sized models on the runway, something which fashion blogger Sarah Chihuahua found refreshing. She told AFP, "...I've been covering Fashion Week for about four years, and it's usually only one body shape and size. Ashley has really brought a spotlight to a lot of things." I believe that every woman should should have ample support, they should feel very sexy in their lingerie, and nobody should be excluded." Rihanna also made a splash with her lingerie collection, Savage by Fenty, at 2018's New York Fashion Week. Much to the delight of fans, the show featured models of all shapes and sizes and ethnic backgrounds, including a pregnant Slick Woods who reportedly walked in the show while she was in labor. Rihanna told Elle, "...I wanted every woman on the stage with different energies, different races, body types, and different stages in their womanhood." So where does Victoria's Secret enter in? on all of this? Every model in the world wants to be in this show. According to the New York Times, a 2017 consumer study revealed that 68% of respondents liked the brand less than before, while 60% felt the brand seemed, quote, forced or fake. I was last-minute bra shopping for a holiday party, and I found myself in a mall and in a Victoria's Secret store, and I wondered why I was there. CEO of Third Love, Heidi Zack, told The Times that she was inspired to start her company after being discouraged by the lack of variety at Victoria's Secret. And according to Third Love customers, the new online retailer offered products they had desperately been searching for. Writer Blair Amani told the outlet, "...I feel secure in Third Love. I love that they have shades for every skin color, not just beige. I don't feel like I'm losing the feeling of being beautiful when I wear them." Ooh, that was pretty good, right? 
Victoria's Secret may have pretty bras, but as they say, looks aren't everything. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.